Mina-san, konnichiwa. This is David. And Mina. And um, we're reviewing the um, new 35th anniversary revive edition of the Freedom Gundam, the HG Freedom Gundam. Um, so, first off, I like the revive line so far. I think the RX-78 II and the Gun Cannon have been great. The Freedom is really pretty. Um, I have a couple of minor quibbles with it, but by and large, it's a really cool kit. Um... I don't think that it's necessarily on the same level as the RX-78 II and the Gun Cannon, but this is not necessarily by fault of Bandai. This is basically because the RX-78 II and the Gun Cannon are much simpler kits. Right. Um, so there are going to be some things that um, these these kits can do that the Freedom can't necessarily. Um, that is unavoidable. Like you can, The Freedom is a much more complex build. Um, first off... If you look here on these um, the cannons on the skirts, you are going to see that there are some gate nubs. Um, these are a pretty common thing. There's also some on the wrists that you can see. You really can't see pretty much any on the RX-78 II and the gun cannon. Yeah. Um, you have to look really close. Um, <clears throat> however, the way that the um, the way that the Freedom is gated, it's just kind of unavoidable um there's not really a way to do it without going into like the complex mg techniques um to hide those um gates so if you want your freedom to look really good you're gonna have to do some sanding um that's a minor quibble for me i don't think that that's a big deal like this is a long-standing expectation i just think that my my sort of standards have, were set higher by the rx-78 II and the gun cannon um also, stickers. There are quite a few of them on this kit. Not like a whole ton, but enough that it's kind of irksome. Uh, I mentioned this during the unboxing. I was going to give them a chance. I did give them a chance, and I don't like them. Um, they're not horrible as far as HG stickers go, but the places that they are put are just not good. Um, like here on the wings, these cannons on the wings, you have these red stickers. It's very, very hard to get them in such a way that um, you can't see any white. Like if you've got it posed, you're going to see some white there. That looks ugly. It looks really, really bad. I know that it probably would have been a, a hassle for Bandai to create another red piece to fit in there, but I'm not really that forgiving. Um, it's... It, it's unsightly. It's ugly. And if you're uh, going to do this at home, you want to use paint. Yes, you want to use paint. This this is a quick thing that you can fix with Gundam markers real easily. Um, these rail cannons, they also have a red piece on, or a red sticker on them. Um, looks kind of ugly. The problem is, is that Bandai expects you to wrap stickers around edges, and then they end the sticker, like, right near the edge, and it's they come up, um, and yeah. they're just, they're really difficult to put on those spaces. Um, there's not like, there's not a, a whole, whole bunch of stickers, but there's enough that you will notice it. Whenever I look over at it on my shelf, every time I see the stickers and I, I, I really dislike that. So I'm probably going to be removing those and doing markers. I don't think that that's a, 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 you know, that's not a canceling point for me. I don't usually use stickers a lot anyway, but they, I, I, I really think that they detract from the overall experience. Um... The Freedom is really, really showy because of its wings. The wings are gorgeous. I love them. Um, except for the sticker quibble, they're really cool. Um, they're very articulate, and they're pretty stable. I had one come off just as I was starting there, but they do stay in position. A lot of the HGC Destiny line um, has problems with this, and that the wings will just go down slowly. Um, the Dragoons on the Strike Freedom and stuff like that, they just they won't stay up. Um, there's, there's no way around it. These do stay up, which is great. Um, I think that that is encroaching into RG territory. I like that a whole bunch. So, wings go up, and then you have these cannons. The cannons, very stable. Um, they will stay in whatever position you want them to, which is great. Um, and they both do that equally well. The wings have a full range of motion. I, I, the HG did too, but again, these stay in position, so which is kind of cool. Um, you might have to snap the pieces back in occasionally, but they're, they're going to stay in their pose. Um, which is awesome. I'm gonna take off the backpack real quick so I can show you the rest of it. All right, 
we have our cannons on the skirts here. Oh, it does have, uh, I mentioned this yesterday, but it does have the modern style double jointed um, underarm piece, the, the ball joint with the, um, the rocker here. So they can go inward. Uh, they can go inward and they can go up. Um, or I guess these go up and on the ball joint here. They don't go inward. Um, so you can't really... Oh, yeah, you can't really put the arm against the chest very well like you can with the um, the Universal Century ones that we've seen so far. But you can lift the arms pretty well, which is which is kind of cool. Um, it gives you more range of motion to have the hands holding the cannons and things, which is nice. So these skirts, um, they become like railgun type things. <laughs> I need a skirt that turns into a railgun. Mm, yeah, I know. <clears throat> and then they have um, little handles that come out. These are very similar to the HG line style, um, but again, they are more stable. This is a thing that you're going to hear over and over. Um, the stability, the ability to pose, the articulation is just a huge step up, and that's great. Um, also, the the little peg in the slot here that hold them together when they're in the skirt form is much stronger. Um, so they, they are going to stay very well. Um, if you're not careful, the stickers will come off if you're using stickers, uh, so that's kind of a pain in the ass. Front skirts go all the way up. This is your standard expectation. The back skirt doesn't go anywhere. Uh, that's a staple with the, um, the Freedom, though. That means that you have a limited amount of motion backwards with the legs. It'll go to about there. Forward, you are basically limited to where the skirts end up. So you have a nice bit of articulation, and then you also can wave them out all the way, fan them out all the way like that. Um, so it's a pretty articulate kit as far as those things go. It's a little less um, less so than the RX-78 II, but it also has all kinds of stuff going on on it. Um, the hands are just standard HG hands. Um, you snap them off, put things in them. I like the eyes. One of the things that they've done with the eyes um, in the Revive line, and let's see if you focus there. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to. The eyes have um, stickers that go behind them. They're foil stickers. Um, that gives it a really nice, like, standout um, gaze look. I like that a bunch. I think it's really cool. Um, as far as accessories go, here's another place. The stickers suck. The rifle here, this beam rifle, Looks pretty cool, I think. I, I think I could probably bother to panel line it a bit, but it has those stickers, the blue sticker, and the sticker just doesn't cover everything that it should cover. So if, unless you're looking at it at the perfect angle, it's really ugly, and it's very hard to get it to cover everything, um, even that it's supposed to cover. So like right there, I've got that white there. I just couldn't avoid that. The sticker didn't stretch that far. Wasn't gonna happen. Um, and then same thing, the stickers at the top, they do peel off um, because they are expected to fold around edges. I, I really don't like that. The only sticker that I think kind of does its job is this red one here on the shield. Um, it's pretty unobtrusive, and I could see the argument for using a sticker there instead of uh, another red piece. Um, Although, ironically, it makes it kind of clash with this red because they're different colors. But yeah, I mean, you have to be really picky to care about that. Um, so you have your shield, you have your beam cannon, uh, or beam rifle, and then you've got two beam savers. But that's pretty much it. I think it's a great build. Um, it's definitely um, the best expression of the HD Freedom, and I think that... Um, the further seed line, the, the further revived seed line is going to be really cool. I'm looking forward to it. I don't think it's bad by any stretch of the imagination, but I do think that they cut a few more corners um, than they did with the other kits in the, the revived line. Then again, you know, that's because this is a more complicated kit and they probably wanted to keep the price down. Um, I think it's really cool. I like it. It's... Um, it's not quite the RG version of the Freedom, but it's also almost a third of the price. So it's um, it's definitely a good HG. Um, it is a solid expression of the, the modern HG line, um, the revives and stuff like that, but it is definitely the weakest so far of the three. All right, so um, that'll be all for the Freedom. Matane, everyone. Matane.